Yo, what's good? It's your boy Topso back again with another video. As you know, we're back with some fire. So today we're gonna be continuing our sound design series. I'll be showing you how to make your sounds from scratch using a stock plugin, Citrus in FL Studio. Last video we made a kick tutorial. If you did not see that, you can click somewhere in the corner. You'll it will take you straight to that video. Today we'll be making a clap, snare, and a hi-hat. You know what I mean? From scratch, I'll be showing you my creative process and what I do to get my unique sounds. But at the end of the day, you should make your own unique sound so that you can be unique as a producer. You know what I mean? So yeah. If it happens that you're a music producer and you want to get your beat making skills to another level start now by hitting that like subscribe and without wasting any time let's hop in away hey i could so now in apple studio let's start by making a snare a snare is a combination of a sine wave and white noise white noise is this type of noise you know what i mean then sine wave is just a wave like this you know what i mean this is a sine wave sounds like this we are going to combine those two to make a snare let's build the shape of a snare with the white noise increase the white noise enable this envelope tab then pull it back like that yeah i, I like my snares to be choppy like that you know what i mean that's fire now we're going to add some sine wave so that it can be a proper snare let's do it decrease the noise you know it's coming good now we choose the pitch i'll go with this pitch then i go to edison record that out now we got our basic snare it does not sound like a snare as yet but we're coming good you know what i mean put it on a mixer track first thing we're gonna shape our sound with the eq you know what i mean let's open up an eq cut the lows you know, so that we can clean it up. Decrease this frequency. Something like that. Then I cut the highs a little bit like that. Boom. Now it's starting to sound like a snare, you know what I mean? So yeah, let's proceed. Let me add a trans and shaper. Yeah, so that it can have the transients, you know what I mean? I'm increasing them. Then I make it as fast release. Oh, that's fine. Then I add a wave shaper. That's fine, and the sound goodizer. That's it. You know what I mean? We got a snake. Record on Edison. Boom. Boom. Then I de click it. Boom, just like that. We got our snake. Now let's do the clap. A clap is a basic white noise with a shape like, you know what I mean? That make it like. You know what I mean? Low, so, so let's build that shape. Go to volume, enable the envelope, then do that. A clap is a shape like that. Let's make it quicker. Pull it in like that. Pull it in like that. Yeah, something like that, you know what I mean? But you will have time and build a better shape than mine, you know what I mean? So yeah, let's record that in. This is a horrible looking clap. But you will have time to shape your, your clap, you know what I mean? So yeah, let's make this sound like a real clap. Put it here, then add it on a mixer channel. Alright, cool. Let's add an EQ. As you know, claps don't have the low frequency, so I'll cut them like that. Maybe up out here. Then raise somewhere around here. Yeah, something like that. Coming good. Let me cut a bit of the highs.
Oh, that's fire. That's fire. It's coming good. Then I, I go and decrease it like here. Something like gain staging. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Just like that. Make sure you don't decrease it here because I don't know why. But, but just decrease it here. You know what I mean? To be safe. Add sound godizer. Boom. You know. Before. After. It gives it that high frequency. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Then after that. Put wave shaper for distortion. That's fire. Now let's make it choppy with a transient shaper. Like that. Record that in. Boom. I cool. Let me take that. Boom. Put a clap here. Now I'll decrease the out. You can process it more, you know what I mean? I feel like the this these spaces are too long. I'll delete them like that, shorten them up. Ooh. Ooh, listen to that, bro. That's fire. As you can see, this is a weird looking clap, you know what I mean? But it's unique, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I like about sound designing. You get unique sounds and unique shapes, you know what I mean? So yeah. This is my clap. So let's make a hi-hat. A hi-hat is a white noise that is chopped quick, you know what I mean, like tt, you know what I mean. So yeah, let's do that shape. Don't forget to enable this shape, you know what I mean. Do that, boom. Something like that. This is a hi-hat, you know what I mean, so yeah. Record that in, just like that. So now let's clean it up, because right now it sound like poop, you know what I mean, so yeah. Put it in here, then open it in a mixer track. Let's open up an EQ, you know what I mean? Even though a hi-hat consists of high frequencies, in this case, I will cut it, you know? I will cut the high frequencies because this is my sound. You won't tell me anything. I'm showing you that there are no rules in this thing, you know what I mean? Don't copy me, just do you, you know what I mean? So yeah, cut a bit of the highs. Cut it somewhere like here. Then I'll cut the lows. I like this frequency. If it's distorting like that, you know what to do. Come back here, decrease it a bit. Till it's fine. Decrease it again. You know, yeah. Don't decrease it like this. I mean, you can do it, but I recommend not using these knobs. You know what I mean? So, yeah nice now the hi-hat is coming good you know what i mean so yeah oh ooh, that's fine i had a transient processor just like that let me decrease the transients a bit something like that oh that's fine by the way i'm hitting my midi keyboard something like that is fine then i add some reverb let me add a second eq boom Yeah. I don't like that frequency. Yeah, I like that sound. Yeah, I like the sound. Oh, that's fine. Record that in. Not me. Do that. Bam. Drag and drop it in. So, yeah, now we got our three sounds. You know what I mean? We got our snare. Fire snare. We got our clap. Descent clap and our hi hat, you know, far as hi hat. So, yeah, the designing does not end here because these sounds may sound good by their own, but when you put them on a beat, they sound like poop. So, now what you'll do, you open the beat, then put these sounds in. When they sound trash, process them more, you know what I mean? Use your creativity till they sound good in the in the beat you made that is professional, you know what I mean? So that you'll be guaranteed that your sound are quality. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like, subscribe, comment. There's nothing to play, so I'll see you in the next video. Peace.